There are a lot of videos going around about uh, Mutra being a purifier and how it can purify so many things. And we have a video in which a solution of betadine is taken and to it some Gomutra Arka is added and it gets decolorized. Now, what's that? It's a simple chemical reaction that happens. Betadine is soluble iodine. Here I have soluble iodine, which is called as Ugal's iodine. Since I'm a laboratory man, I use my laboratory chemicals. When I add it to this, you see you get this color. This color is that of iodine and can be easily called as an impurity. Well, we don't know what they've done, but okay, let's assume that it's an impurity. And so I add it and mix it up. And now, this is the alleged arka of Gomotra which I'm adding to it. Well, I purposely not labeled it. Well, I add it. Well, look, oh, the purification process has occurred. And you see that the water becomes crystal clear. which is meant that the thing is purified. But if you see the video publicizing the properties of Gomutra, nobody drinks that water. They just sort of throw it away. Why is it? It's because you have taken iodine and to that I have added sodium thiosulfate, which is a common chemical which used to be used for developing photographs and it was called as hypo. Now this is an oxidizing agent. It oxidizes iodine to uh, iodic acid and hypoiodate and you see that the color is gone. This is all that is to it. Nothing less, nothing more. 